Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today we got a one week update with the hydroponic cucumber melons, also known as mouse melons, sour gherkin, Mexican cucumbers. This plant's known by a lot of names. And as you see from last week, this plant has had a significant amount of growth. I mean, this thing has re exploded all over the place. I actually had to. If you remember, the plant was initially here in the middle of the trellis. However, because this plant was growing so fast day by day, I mean, this thing grows about two, three inches a day. I had to move it to the back corner and restart it, actually. I had to un unwind everything and begin to retrellis. So since, since last week till now, you see this plant has at least, I would say, tripled in growth. And not only that, I noticed before, initially I thought because I have, as you see down there, there's two plants planted right there, but I thought it's only going to be two vines that's growing, so it's, I, I, all I have to do is just trellis one one way and trellis another one another way. However, <laughs> that didn't seem to be the case because from every single node, there's either a new vine that's growing or what I'm really excited about is, as you see right there, there's actually tiny little fruits developing. I sh well, I should say flowers, not, not fruits yet. And every single, every single one that has flowers developing is gonna have both male as well as female flowers. So it's gonna make it for easy for pollination. I mean, look at how tiny this thing is. For example, I'm gonna put my finger next to it. I mean, this thing is super small. But I've noticed this plant is about a little bit over a month now, maybe five weeks old. And it already has tiny those tiny flowers developing all over the place. And as you see here from what I was talking about, Here's a vine, there's a vine growing, here's some fruit developing, there's another vine growing. So I mean soon I'm going to have to not only be winding one one way, another one another way, but I'm going to have to figure something out and move this plant all over the place because it's growing really fast. Every day I have to come in sometimes twice a day and move this plant around either taking it up pushing one end one end underway looping up and then looping down looping up and looping down this way the plant is nice and stable as you see if i shake the plant stays still doesn't move around really stays in place and if you want to see what i'm growing the plant in in case you're new to this video this is basically a half gallon mason jar. And as you see, it's painted black, but I leave always a line available. This way I could see how much nutrients and water is left in there. And as you see right now, let's see if we could zoom in. The water level is right about here. And there's a good amount of, of nutrients left. From when I started, initially it was right under here about here so it took about a third of the container so it has a good amount of nutrients left so even once it, it drinks it up that's not really a problem I'm gonna be able to refill it the only thing you want to remember is when you're refilling your nutrients you want to always pour it l lower than your initial starting point a safe bet would be just pour it an inch lower than where you started and you should be fine this way you leave room for the air roots to grow and you don't drown the plant basically. So that's the update for right now. I was initially going to do monthly updates, but instead this plant's growing so fast. I think I'll just give you guys updates every week. And if you like what you've seen today, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what you see here today and you want to buy this container or create one yourself, you'll be able to find the links down below. Uh, thanks for watching.